Hey guys, my name is Rimfire Storm, and welcome to this tutorial about a cycling command lineup, which is based off of an ability or a move in Smash Brothers where Sora, upon pressing or upon the player pressing neutral special, will use a particular spell and then switch to the next spell in the lineup in order and will continue to loop over and over again. In this case, it would be the fire spell, to the thunder spell, to the ice spell. Uh, besides that, this is a re-record of this particular tutorial because I did not like how the original set of recordings turned out. But yeah, uh, there are a few things I have changed in this tutorial to make it look nicer than usual, I guess. Other than that, I don't like to explain much in this intro. So, with that, without further ado, let's go on to talk about the plugins. Going to our plugin list, uh, the plugins are pretty flexible in this particular tutorial. Like, some of them aren't required for, say, the second variant. Some of them are interchangeable with another plugin. And then some of them you might not need altogether. Anyways, going on to our plugin list. We have quite a few plugins that, well, that you can use. Uh, the main one, however, that you're going to be using for both variants and is, well, technically you still have a choice, is Skill Core, which we're we'll using. We're going to be using some note tags from Skill Core, but you could also use Action Sequence Packs. Yeah, either Action Sequence Packs or Skill Core, which is a surprising. Uh, well, choice to be given, but you don't have to choose between one, of course. If you're gonna use both, you might as well just use both, just in general. Uh, before this tutorial, you definitely have a choice on which one you want. Uh, what's What else? Uh, Weapon Unleash, which is gonna be used for the first variant. Uh, we'll be replacing Garden tutorial, but it doesn't really matter what you replace. I'm just saying that now so I don't forget later. We also have Auto Pass States and Buff and States Core, which if you're gonna use the Auto Pass State method, which is starting off the the one of the actor with the cycling commands with a particular state, you don't have to use Auto Pass States, but you can. But if you're gonna be using that, you're gonna need Buff and States Core. But I will explain how to do it without these plugins. All right. With that said, I think we can actually start this tutorial now. Alright, I'm going to be explaining the auto passes state uh, implementation pretty much by itself. Uh, in previous recordings I did uh, also talk about the skills, but I could probably just talk about the skills during the uh, variants. Anyways, if we go to our actors here, we'll be focusing on this particular actor right here, as you see here in the database. In the database, sorry. We'll be having the note tag passes state, and whatever state we'll be using well, this state in particular is going to be uh, how we start off the actor with certain skills in the certain lineups. I'll explain that later. But for this tutorial, we'll be using state 20. And when we go to state 20, it'll be our state called command cycle. Now, we're going to be using the buff and states core to use these note tags for custom battle effects. So at the start of battle, we'll be having the user gain state 21 and gain state 24. Now, these are both different variants, but that's not really the point. They're both different cycles, which is the point. And Faraga and Stopka are the first in each of their lineups, so we'll be starting off the player or this actor with both of these states, which correspond to those two uh, skills and technically states. Besides that, we'll be going on to talk about the, the first variant right now. The first variant is definitely more complicated, but it also kind of looks nicer because we'll be replacing like an actual command in an actor's command list because we'll be using Weapon Unleash and we'll be replacing the guard command, as I said earlier. Uh, well, first of all, we gotta go over our states here, which are the plus Faraga state, the plus Dundaga state, and the plus Blazaga state, which I'll be referring these particular spells to fire as fire, thunder, and ice because that just makes it a lot easier. Each of these states in particular simply have these note tags which say to replace guard with this 
with the particular uh, skill that each of these correspond to. So 38 will be our Faraga skill, sorry, Fire skill, 39 is our Thunder skill, and 40 is our Ice skill. Going back to our skills here, you can see that these are in fact our uh, assigned skills, of course. Now these these uh, skills in particular don't really have anything special in the case of their actual effects, but what we do want to want to well go over is the fact that we gotta change and do some stuff in the note box. Now, if we're using the skill core, we'll be using these after evaluation note tags and remove state. Well, remove the states that the user would currently have at that point in time and add the state corresponding to the skill that will be next in the lineup. So for example, the user will start off with the Faraga state and get the skill Faraga. Sorry, the user will start off with the fire state and get the fire skill. After using this particular skill, they'll be removing the fire state and adding the thunder state, which is the next skill in the lineup. Same deal, or similar deals for the thunder and ice skills, except we'll be removing the thunder state for, well, we're removing those particular states and adding, of course, the next one in the lineup. Of course, when we get to the ice skill, uh, we'll be adding the first one in the lineup because the ice skill is the last one in the lineup. So basically removing state ID 23 and adding state 21. If we want to use action sequence packs for um, removing and adding states, all you gotta do is go to the end of your skill, wherever you want. Actually, it doesn't really matter if it's the end, you can pretty much do whatever you want in terms of the placement in the action sequence. All you gotta do is add state, uh, whatever is on the user right now. So for this case, add state 21. Actually, no, remove state 21, sorry. Remove state 21 to the from the user and add state 22 to the user. Similar to the skill core uh, function out or implementation, but just different ways of doing the same thing. But uh, besides that, that's pretty much it for variant 1. Uh, let's go to variant 2 because, well, might as well knock them out right next to each other. Going on to variant 2, which is much easier because we're not using Weapon Unleash, though it has its own perks, I guess. Its own, down, its own downsides. It, it's basically up to preference. But in this case, we'll be actually using the actual skill box instead of replacing the actual command altogether. Anyways, this second variance will revolve around uh, these three skills here, which would be Savga, Aroga, and Kiraga, which I'll be referring to as the... Hmm. The stun skill, the wind skill, and the heal skill. Hopefully. I'm probably gonna mess up the first one, but it doesn't really matter. So instead of replacing an actual command in the note box here, we'll be actually using the trait to add the particular skill that, uh, well, the state corresponds to. So in this case, we'll be adding straight up the time, the stun skill, the wind skill, and the heal skill, respectively, of course. Going back to our skills, well. Anyways, you, you, it's pretty much the same thing as variant 1. The only difference is that we're, well, it's replacing a command versus uh, putting them into the actual skill list. Otherwise, you pretty much use the skill core and action sequence packs the same exact way as the other. You still have a choice. You remove the current state and add the next one in the lineup. And yeah, that's basically it. These skills in particular don't have any functional use, just like they're used in Smash Bros as, as a taunt. But yeah, I think we can go on to the demonstration now. Alright, here we are in the tutorial, sorry, in the demonstration scene. As you can see, I have spruced some things up and also I'm gonna try to make some custom characters in these tutorials so it's not just me all the time. With that said, uh, let's go over the, uh, well, the two variants. First of all, we have the first variant, which involves replacing the guard command, of course. So we're using Faraga right here. I actually can't hear my uh, demonstration audio, so I don't know if it's going to be sounding good. It doesn't really matter if there's no sound, though. I'll probably just put music over anyways. 
Then we can follow it up by using Tendaga. As you see in the bottom, in our state uh, segment, you'll see the, the states constantly change throughout each of the uh, lineup of skills, of course. So it has already switched to fire once again, and we can use fire uh, one last time. Just so we can show off that it does continuously loop. Now going to our commands here, we have Stopka, or our time skill. And it switches immediately to the wind skill. I don't really need to explain this to in depth. I think you get the gist of it at this point. It has been a long tutorial. But yeah, that's pretty much all I need to do for this tutorial. I know Sora, by the way, does not look like his uh, actual self, but there are some. There are so there are only so many spiky hair options in RPG Maker. So it was the best I can do. So with that said, let's go into the outro. I'll see you there. Hey, welcome to the end of the video. I'm Room Firestorm, and uh, I'm very tired because I had to re-record the entire thing. Back to back, right after I re recorded the entire thing once, I recorded it again. Not because I lost it, but because, again, I was not proud of the previous recordings. Hopefully I explained it more in depth or more simply in this case, but, well, what can you do? I apologize if it sounds messy, though. Anyways, I did have another tutorial planned that was based on Sora's inclusion in Smash. However, that fell through because I worked on it for one and a half hours and it produced not really good results because the plugin I was using I did not comprehend at all, because it might have been the fault of the plugin, it might have been my own fault, but as far as I'm concerned, it won't be getting a fix. Besides that, yeah. Uh, I'm recording this on the same day I made the preview, actually before the preview releases, like the day before I upload, the preview will be uh, published. So uh, I'll have some time to edit this all together, so hopefully I should have it out two days after the preview. That's my that's my goal, but I am going to visit this weekend for a little bit. Uh, tutorials will... well, I'll probably make a tutorial in two weeks. Probably go over the recreate next week. Don't want to put them all jumbled together. But in that case, yeah, that'll be all. So with that said, see you guys and stay safe. And thanks for watching my mess tutorial. Anyways, bye.